What's up everybody? Welcome back to A Trucker's Life. My name is Gasolina636 and here we are. Just another day, another dollar. Famous old saying. Out here uh, in Louisiana, headed uh, to Savannah, Georgia from Channel View, Texas. Hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Hope you guys had a wonderful week. And yeah, here we are again, living the life, living the life of a trucker, they say. <laughs> but yeah, uh, just a little update on what's going on throughout the week for me. Like I said, I'm headed to Savannah. Hopefully once I get to Savannah, I can turn around. I'm supposed to, uh, I have a little bit of a deadline because I have to, uh, I have plenty of time, but you know, I have a little bit of a deadline because I have to get to Savannah um, by Thursday midday, which um, I should be totally good for that. Uh, today uh, is a Tuesday, currently 4 p.m. I have about uh, three hours and 47 minutes left to drive for the day. Then I will do my 10 hour break and then I'll resume my uh, trip to Savannah. Uh, get there, get this stuff delivered because it's got to be on a ship by noon. I think by noon, Thursday. So, uh, gotta get it there early in the morning or uh, tomorrow evening. It'll be best tomorrow evening, really. And, uh, drop that off pick up an empty uh, container and bring it back to Texas hopefully I will be back for the weekend so I can go to my son's soccer game hang out with La Familia We've got my dad's birthday um, ooh, my dad's birthday is tomorrow <laughs> better give him a call because yeah, that ain't cool when you forget your parents' birthday. Heck, I don't even keep up with mine half the time anymore, but <laughs> that is another story. But yeah, guys, um, just out here trying to make it. It's a beautiful day today. Beautiful, beautiful day. 87 degrees. You see the clouds, but it's, it has it also we have a beautiful blue sky. It's a little mixture of both. Man, I really need to get to a truck stop to get, actually to a truck wash. I really need to wash this truck. I hate uh, having my truck dirty. I still haven't done a truck tour, which I'll do uh, hopefully soon once I get this thing washed. The inside of my truck, I keep it, I try to keep it as clean as possible. It's a work truck, you gotta get in and out. Floorboard gets, floor, floorboard, blah, 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 can't even talk. Floorboard gets a little, a little dirty on the uh, driver's side, but dust it off and go again but I always get up make my bed put everything away make sure there's nothing really too loose out here that's gonna um, be flying around in case I have to slam on the brakes for some crazy reason because somebody jumped in front of me which happens uh, as you guys will see all the time and uh, say my prayers thank uh, thank God for another day of life and uh, do my pre-trip, check my truck, put it in the wind. Get on going down the road. Uh, today is gonna be, like this trip here, is gonna be a little minimal of uh, stopping and stuff like that because I have to, to really get there. But like I said, I mean, I have a, t it's a little bit of a time crunch, but I'm not gonna kill myself to try to get there because one thing you never need to do, and I am guilty of it, yes I am, especially back in the past before the old, uh, before the new uh, e-log, um, you would have to do what you had to do without incriminating myself, <laughs> and uh, just drive, drive, drive. A lot, of, a lot of drivers hate this new e-log deal because they don't make no money, da 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 but at the end of the day, it's to keep us all safe, really. Because if that dispatcher knows that you can't continue going and that uh, your hours are done, there's nothing he can do about it. He 
can't dispute it because it's on a computer. It's telling you, this is it. We are done. Uh, for those of you that are non-truck drivers, uh, that's uh, the way it used to be. Is like they knew that you could do certain things, and they would expect for you to always do those certain things. And I mean, driving, sleeping, and all that stuff. I mean, that's that's the thing from the past for me. Um, 10 hours is more than enough, 11 hours more than enough to drive and do our thing. And for me, I'm not speaking for every other driver because there's some of them drivers out there that they are, oh, I can drive for 20 foot freaking days, da, 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 whatever. But now me, I try to, uh, you know, I try to I make sure I get my loads there. Don't, don't get me wrong, but I also try to keep it pretty safe and and uh, get to my destination and back home safe to my family because at the end of the day, that's why we're out here. At least myself, I can speak for myself. I'm out here for my kids uh, and family so they can have a little bit better life than what I did. Now, I will not ever say that I had a bad life. My parents did everything they could to raise my sister and I both to the best of their ability and I thank them for them. And they were, I've had, got the, everybody says they have the best parents. I have the best parents in the world. And I will continue saying that. Woohoo! American flag on the Jeep. Yeah! Anyways, um, yeah, my parents are immigrants uh, from myself included. They brought me, I was three years old. They brought me, I am 40 years old over the hill. Ah! I don't feel it. I mean, I don't mentally feel it, but yeah, my body's feeling it. Anyways, yeah, um, my parents immigrated uh, us from El Salvador, El Salvador, para todos mis amigos salvadoreños. Hola, hola, hola. And um, we came to this country, and this country gave us the opportunity to do what we have done so far in life. My sister works for a major oil company. My dad is a truck driver for a grocery supplier in Houston. My mom is a retired janitor from uh, a high school, I mean a, a school district in Texas. And uh, of course, you're surely I am a truck driver. I guess I am the black sheep, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I love what I do. I can't be knocking it. And uh, I make decent living enough to keep my uh, bills paid and my, uh, you know, family. Like I said, with a little better things than what I grew up with. But yeah, that's a little bit of uh, this thing y'all gonna find out about these these logs that I just ramble and I just, I start somewhere and I end up somewhere else. Forgive me, but that's how I am. Um, but yeah, we're just, you know, try to try to keep it light here, try to have a good time. You know, it is a job at the end of the day, but like I've said in a previous video, you can make it fun if you want to make it fun. It's just all up to you. It's all up to you. But yeah, so that's just a little update for today. And uh, we gotta keep on trucking, keep on paying attention to this here highway, make sure I get to my destination safe and those around me. Ooh, got a scale coming up. Yeah! But anyways, thank you guys again for spending y'all's time listening to my ramble, ramble, ramble. And Please like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell. You guys know what to do. Leave a comment. Let's get a conversation going. But for now, guys, be safe. Be good to one another. Help whoever you can. And make this world a better place to live in. Until next time, love you guys. This is Gasolina 636. And I'm out. Peace.